In this lesson, we're going to learn how to accompany an Irish reel called Frank's Reel. It's in the key of G, and I have Mr. Shane Hayes on the button accordion to play it through. We're going to listen to it once at session speed, and then I'm going to bring up the chords. We're going to take things nice and slow, go through each part, uh, go through the rhythm, and I have a bonus at the end, so stick around for that. Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So we start with the rhythm, it's a reel, so that's 4-4 four, four time, and we could do a very straight reel rhythm, which is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But we want to add something a bit different to that, so what I like to do is have a bass in, on the 1 beat, so it goes Bass, treble, 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 bass, treble, 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 one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass, treble, treble, treble. And it just gives that bit of movement to the tune. Uh, another one you could do is leave that bass note for every second time. So it would go like this. Bass, treble, 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 bass, treble, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bass. So that kind of just puts a different emphasis as well, and you can mix the two up together. So you go bass, treble, 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 bass, treble, 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 bass, treble, 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 bass, treble, treble, treble. So you can mix things up with that, get accustomed to moving that right hand uh, from the bass to the treble and mixing things up. So this tune is in the key of G, so that's capo on the fifth fret in Dadgad. And the framework I like to work off of is from this D major shape, and it might sound something like this. So we're using that D major as the home chord, we're moving around to high G's, low G's, F sharps, and go down to an E minors. So this is how we'd move around and try and find our way around the, the first part of the tune. And I like to keep things simple enough for, for the first part, just as a grounding. And then in the second half, you can get a bit more um, involved. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So little movements like that. So let's go through these chords. We have the D major shape. We have a G. Going back to this F sharp. We can go down to this inside E. We can do the same on the outside. We have the D major. You have the, it's a D major with an F sharp in the bass. Up to this G, an outside G. Back to the F sharp, and then we have an E minor. So we're playing around with these notes with the with part one. With that rhythm. So have ha, have a bit of fun messing around with it first. Get accustomed to moving these shapes around and then what you want to do is use your ear to try and follow the tune so I'll show you how I play the part one at a little bit of a slower speed now so you can try and follow along if you want or you know play around and, and find your own tones as well <laughs> If 
you're enjoying things so far, please do take a second just to click that like button. It helps quite a lot here with the algorithm. And if you have any questions at all or comments, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. I've changed over to my wife's triple O Martin because I broke a string. We're onto the chords of the second half and it's a bit more interesting because we have this moving bass line that follows the melody a bit. So it sounds like this. Something like that. So the descending line at the start, here are the notes. So we have fourth finger on the fifth fret of that A string. Third finger on the fourth fret of the A string. And first finger on the second fret of the A string. That's up from the capo. So now we have to focus on the, the rhythm side of things. So that phrase going down as far as there it goes. So it's, it's a fast change. So this is where we go next. We have this F sharp shape. So if we continue on. And we're going up to this G shape and then we slide up to the A. And we do the descending line again. do this E note if we want. It's not necessary but you can throw it in if you want. So or you can do it to finish. So I would take your time with that one, just that descending line at the start. And the phrase I use just to finish off section two sounds like this. So we go through that. You have to start with the D modal, going to the D major, up to this inside G, down to the F sharp, we have this E note, and then we're going, we're going from this third finger on the fourth fret of the A string down to finishing it on your D. So. One more time. So let's have a listen to part two now. Now that we've gone through the structure of part one and part two, let's put them together and have a listen straight through. I mentioned a bonus, so here is Shane Hayes to play the tune without me interfering so you get to practice along with it. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you got something out of that tutorial. If you want to check out my full Dadgad guitar course, I'll leave links to that in the description below the video or up here in the corner. I have six modules to it and it gets you comfortable with the Dadgad neck, so you can check that out. If you want to continue your trad journey right now, do click on the Silver Spear Reel lesson where I have the full tutorial there with Shane Hayes on the button accordion again. And I will talk to you on the next one. Enjoy, all the best.